Luke and Nate here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and today we're going magnet fishing. But first, we gotta get Nate to stop chasing the birds. Yeah! Some bats! They're fast birds. <laughs> All right, guys, it's a cold but beautiful day here, and uh, we're at a really popular boat ramp, and we're gonna go magnet fishing. And uh, we're not gonna just use any old magnet. I've got a super freaky, powerful, dangerous magnet that I'm gonna use. And uh, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. I'm gonna show it to you guys here. We're gonna start fishing off of these piers. Now, if you follow my channels on my other channel, the Catfish and Carb YouTube channel, I did a magnet fishing video at this spot a couple years ago. Uh, but you know, a lot of crap gets dropped here. So we're gonna give it another go. This is the magnet I'm going to be using. It's a 500 pound neodymium magnet. May not be pronouncing that right, but bought on amazon.com. This thing is crazy powerful. I have another one that's a 250 pound magnet and I got those suckers too close together once and they snapped together and pinched a bit of my skin in between the two. It took 30 minutes to get them apart. I had to beat on them with hammers and set up a block and tackle. I mean, they're legitimately a 500 pound magnet. If this thing gets stuck on something large and metal and gets a good flat surface to surface contact, yeah, it's, I might not get my magnet back. So this is a very powerful magnet, but if there's anything metal down here, we're going to find it. And you see that and go and bounce it up and down. Okay. And kind of walk along. Oh, look at this. There's something stuck to it. What is this? Okay, there's there's a washer. And this this is like, what is that? Like a bungee cord hook. Okay. All right, let's let's go. You want to put the treasure in the bucket? Yeah. Okay. No, oh, I can't get it off. See, that's what I mean about this thing being dangerously powerful. I mean, when stuff gets stuck to it, it's it's really hard to get it off. I'm going to worry about that later. Let's go get some more treasure. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. It's in there. Ooh, I think I, I just felt something click to it. Hold on. Now pull it up. Oh, look at that. You got a bottle cap. Bottle cap. Yeah, look at that bottle cap. Here, why don't you go put it in, the, put it in there with the other stuff. Oh, there's something. There's something big down there. Oh, there's something big down there. Oh, look at that. It is struggling. It's it's down there. Oh, it popped off again. I can hear it. I can hear it. It goes click and then it gets snagged. I feel like there's a fishing lure down there because I can hear it go ding and stick to it. And I can pull it up and almost get it to the surface and then I get resistance and it gets pulled off. Another bottle cap. Here, pull it up for me. See if there's anything on there. Oh, just more dirt. Oh, look at this. Look at these. We got magnetic rocks here too. Magnetic rocks? Yeah, there's magnetic rocks. Magnetic rocks. Oh, what a, look at all this. Another bottle cap. Look at this, a little a little uh, keychain ring. Yeah, what, what are these things? They're, they're metal but I'm, there's tons of them look at these little oval shaped pieces of metal about six or seven of them we found hey. leave a comment if you think you know what those are I'd, oh there's a little swivel Wait, look at that a little bit of iron ore what? another bottle cap Coconut juice. I just found some dice and it's awesome. It really is awesome. so awesome. Yeah, see if we can pull it out. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, something big. <laughs> I think it's a camping chair. <laughs> One camping chair for sale, gently used. Oh, you found a bottle? Two bottles. No, yeah. there's so, so more bottles. 
Oh, more bottles? Looks like somebody lost their transom saver. Yeah, that's that's uh, goes on the back of the trailer. Save the save the outboard motor from you breaking. <laughs> Look at that. try one more spot and then let Nathan here have a potty break and uh, get a little food in him. You tired bud? Yeah. Alright this transom saver is leaking crap all over so I'm going to put that there. Well guys here's another spot you may recognize from my fishing videos. This is the Tidal Basin in Washington DC and that right there is the Jefferson Memorial, the Washington Monument, and we've got the Martin Luther King Memorial down there and the Roosevelt Memorial. A lot of people walk and fish along this tidal basin and hoping we find some things that have been lost. All right, we're gonna try one of my favorite fishing spots here and see if we can find anything. What? What do you know? caught an American eel while magnet fishing. He was living inside that pipe. Should we put him back in the water? Yeah, let's go. There you go. He's off. Well, that's an absolute first. I've never caught an eel magnet fishing. That's unusual. Uh -oh. Oh. oh no, my magnet. Oh man, I just lost my magnet. It came unscrewed and ugh. There we go. Well, I think that's it for our magnet fishing trip today. <laughs> well, that'll be a lesson for me. Next time I'm gonna super glue the threads on my magnet so that can't happen. Uh, well, let's see what we got in our treasure bucket, shall we? Look at that, we got a whole bunch of bottle caps, some bungee cords. And some and a fishing rod. Yeah. Part of a fishing reel. That was my favorite. That I thought that was cool. And look how many bottle caps we got. We must have 20 bottle caps down there. Well, hey Nate, did you have fun? Did you have fun magnet fishing? No. No. <laughs> well, I had a good time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video too. But if you want to see our other magnet fishing video where we're a little bit more successful check out uh, the link in the description. Yeah, if you guys want to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. click subscribe. That's right. 